Well, I see you've acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. Then I shall direct you to a number of rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs. Don't have to worry. Oh. We were just talking. I promise. My mistress paid me to speak to him. Yeah. 
have the money very soon. Then I'll pay up, and you and me can... You know. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. But how did you get the money? Well, I've been selling some goods in the country's very short of. Next week, my ship will bring more supplies. Then I will be You have the goods. There seem to be more than usual. Well, mm. I've built up a stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Hey, <sighs> this isn't good. If I get caught with all this, I'm in real trouble. Oh, don't be like that. Times are hard. You need all the money you can get, right? I don't know. About that. That's not it at all.
what I'm saying. Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. That's what I <laughs> I don't really know what else we can do about it. How are we going to get that house? If you have any ideas, speak up. Mm. The consulate is very well guarded. Mm. We can't attack from the front. Mm. Well, how about the, the first? Anyways. <clears throat> well, at least oh, that's what I've been told. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I'm telling you the truth. Mm. Yes, well, indeed. I would have thought so too. So here's what I say. Yeah. Bad. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's just it. Mm -hmm. 
And he actually did that. Did you get your picture? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Who are you? Hmm. Come to the garden now. Hmm. Hmm. Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate. I'll cut you down. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. Oh. Well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Kasparov pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him, all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Shoin. Katsura here is an old student and close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. Look to the drinks! Knocks around on me! see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard.
I cannot imagine. It certainly doesn't sound natural. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, please enjoy your time here. Noble warrior, you have the most impeccable timing. I fear I am in desperate need of your assistance. You see, my darling cats have run away, and none of them have returned to me. Having only known the comforts of home, they simply won't last in the cruel world on their own. Nor I another day without them. Do you think you could see fit to find them for me? I know it is a lot to ask, but... Oh, my humblest apologies. I have forgotten myself. I am so worried about my cats, I can hardly think straight. My name is Usukumo. I am a quarter son in this district. I hope you do not think too poorly of me. We will be compensated for your efforts, I can assure you. How goes the cat search? I hope they are all safe and well.
How are you faring? Oh, so you've got a camera, it seems. I wanted you got it from Igashichi. Am I right? The thing is, I've got more work than I can handle. So many people want pictures taken. And that's where I was hoping you could help. Would you mind taking some photographs for me? You will be rewarded. Don't worry about that. Did you manage to take the pictures I asked you to? I look forward to seeing how you fare. Have you been making good use of my gadgets? Now, I wonder if you've ever chanced upon any foreign books. As our nation has opened up, there are more and more of them in circulation. It seems there are many tomes about Western technology and weaponry. I'd love to find them, but I'm far too busy inventing. I know! Why don't you search for books for me? Come on, what do you say? They'll no doubt help me improve my tinkering skills. See what he can do. Oh, it looks like you have quite the collection. Good work.
What would you like me to work on? What would you like me to work on? Oh, hold on. Do you have a moment? I have a little problem that needs solving. Mind if I pick your brains a little? So, some officials barged in the other day, demanding that I invent some mechanisms that could be utilized for combat. Of course, I do have some experience in designing tools for clients, but only for those I trust. And these men, I did not. As you'd expect, I refused. So they demanded I hand over some of my inventions, lest I be drugged off and beheaded. Which is when it came to me, the perfect scheme to get one over on them. However, the plan requires some assistance. Please, can I count on you? Truly, I owe you one. I know this is sudden, but can you come to my hidden storehouse with me? I've left some tools there. Come on. Right, let's be off! Hold it, Iska. Where do you think you're going? Oh, um, just going to pick up some materials. <laughs> you are not fooling anyone, pal. How about I help you concentrate on your work? Of course, they're barely a threat to you. But do it quickly, please. So do you could weasel your way out of his bodyguard? I put you down here and now. Appreciate you agreeing to help. This way, follow me. The Shogunate obviously wants an advantage over its enemies, but I thank them not to drag me into their bloody mess. my inventions at my secret storehouse. <laughs> inventions, I say, but it's mostly useless junk. Come on now! They've served to fool that official for a while, passed off as works in progress. But he's starting to suspect. If this plan doesn't work, well, I think up another one. But with you coming along, I'm sure all will be well. Not far now.
Dave sniffed the place out. Fortunately, I've got something handy on me. Come on, over here. Why don't you try using this? I made it using a Western clockwork mechanism. It takes in sounds from the surroundings and expresses them visually. It's only a prototype, but you should be able to make good use of it. Well, it should allow you to detect foes in hiding or even through solid walls. I'll hide here until it's over. Use my new device well, and you're bound to have the upper hand! This is where the bastard keeps his toys. Looks 
like the way is clear. Now we can enter the storehouse. All right, let's go with this. It ought to look the part to them. I can't thank you enough for your help, and certainly not with this junk. But if you see anything you like, it's all yours. Ah, you want to use the fire pipe? It's a little dangerous. But all right, let's step outside and try it. Looks like you frightened off the rest of them. I'll leave the fire pipe to you, along with the figuring out how to use it. Now we have all the tools we need. The next step is to contact Yukichi Fukuzawa to help as well, and go over the plan with him. Fukuzawa's knowledge is vital. He doubles in Western medicine and is an expert on chemicals as well. Right, let's split up for now. I'll get Fukuzawa up to speed in the meantime, but let's meet again soon.